Buying your first 3D printer can be nervous as beginner, but don't worry, we're here to help. There are a few major factors to consider when selecting the best 3D printer, and we've covered them all here. Hey everyone and welcome to Double Check Review I'm Lucy I hope you're having an amazing day. Here at Double Check Review our goal is to help your life be even more amazing. With our ratings of the best products. Meet the top 5 best 3D printers 2023 for beginners. Let's begin today with some really cool things. Buying your first 3D printer can be nervous, but don't worry, we're here to help. There are a few major factors to consider when selecting the best 3D printer, and we've covered them all here. Number 1 is Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro FDM 3D Printer. The easy-to-use Neptune 3 Pro offers upgraded features, like a direct drive and dual Z-axis, without an upgraded price. Elegoo's simple-to-use Neptune 3 Pro arrives 90% pre-assembled and goes from box to first print in 30 minutes. The Neptune 3 Pro comes with everything you need to get your printer set up. You get tools to build and maintain the printer, side cutters, a plastic scraper, two spare nozzles, and a micro SD card with a USB adapter. There's also a small sample of white PLA to print your first model. The micro SD card has a very helpful short video on assembling the printer. You also get a PDF copy of the manual, a copy of Elegoo Kura and a sample model in both pre-sliced. Code and STL Format the task light is one of those small quality of life improvements that seems silly until you find yourself squinting in the dark at your first layer. Everything we liked from the Neptune 3 was carried over to this new machine or improved. The PI coated build plate holds onto prints with the right amount of stick, then releases when cold. Bed leveling is a snap, and the Z height was on target without needing adjustment. This is by far one of our favorite printers and one we can easily recommend as one of the best 3D printers for both beginner and veteran makers. Number 2 in our rating is Prusa MK3S Plus which is best high-end 3D printer. Considered the best 3D printer overall by many aficionados, the Prusa MK3S Plus has received countless industry accolades and awards, and with good reason. The MK3S Plus is a powerhouse 3D printer that combines reliable hardware, feature-rich software, and a support channel that makes the Prusa Signature Black and Orange hardware a common sight in 3D printing farms. Silent stepper drivers, removable textured build platforms, automatic bed leveling probe and more. Prusa has developed their own slicer app, Prusa Slicer, for processing 3D models and is actively adding new features requested by the community. At a price point of $999 for an assembled printer and $749 for a DIY kit. The Prusa MK3S Plus includes a full spool of silver PLA material, screwdriver, a metal part scraper, a glue stick, for adhesion, an isopropyl alcohol wipe, lubricant for the linear rails, power and USB cables, a sheet of stickers, a printed handbook, and a diagnostic printout that confirms the functionality of the mechanical and electrical systems. His print features a serpentine line with 90-degree angles, curves, and a solid block in the center with the Prusa logo facing upwards. After powering on, the printer automatically runs through an initial setup process. This process involves calibrating the Z-axis by running it all the way to the top of the printer, running the mesh bed leveling process to set the Z-offsets, and loading the filament. This entire process only took me a few minutes. The Prusa MK3S Plus is based on the RepRap i3 frame. The bright orange color makes the 3D printed parts on the MK3S Plus easy to spot. MK3S Plus is the open source nature of the machine, which means the printed parts are all available to download if you want to download, modify, or print them out yourself. The monochrome LCD interface and click wheel on the MK3S Plus is one of the few less than impressive features on this machine. The third one in our review is Frozen Sonic Mini 8K LCD Resin 3D Printer. If you're looking for the most precise prints around, the Frozen Sonic Mini 8K is your best choice. MSLA Resin 3D Printer sports a 7.1-inch mono LCD screen that operates. It comes fully assembled and is easy to use, just calibrate and go. It also boasts native integration with both the Chittabox and Lychee Slicer apps. Combine the Sonic Mini 8K with Frozen's Aqua Gray 8K Resin and you'll see smoother prints with more crispy details than ever before. Selling for a retail price of $599 the Frozen Sonic Mini 8K is targeted towards miniature makers and jewelry designers who are ready to level up their prints. For beginners looking for a high-resolution machine at a lower cost. 
However, at $599 you're paying double the price of lower res competitors with similar build volumes so you need to really want the better output quality to justify the price. In the box is an 8GB USB thumb drive preloaded with Chittabox Basic 1.9.0 slicer software, a profile for the Mini Sonic 8K, a quick start guide, and two pre-sliced test prints. A paper quick start guide is also included in the kit. The Frozen Sonic Mini 8K is no lightweight, tipping the scales at 22 pounds thanks to its mostly metal construction. Number 4 is Creality Ender 5S1. Any 3D printer can handle PLA, but when it comes to engineering grade material, you want a printer that gets hot and heavy. The Ender 5S1 is a cube style printer with a titanium alloy heat break, an extra large cooling fan, and a high flow nozzle borrowed from the new Creality Spider Hot End. It's capable of reaching 300 degrees at the nozzle and a toasty 110 degrees on the heat bed. It doesn't come with an enclosure, but Creality's website shows acrylic sides will soon be available as an accessory. This will allow you to print finicky materials like ABS without trouble. The Ender 5S1 is a good all-around printer with auto bed leveling, a PC-coated flex plate and easy-to-use touchscreen. It has an all-metal direct drive that tames squirrely filament, we printed completely string-free flexi toys in both TPU and PTG, something not easily done. It's also a fairly fast 3D printer, with a standard running speed of 120mm per second and very decent results at its max speed of 250mm per second. Our test prints were easily done in half the time it would take an Ender 3 Pro while maintaining quality results. Number 5 in our review today is Anycubic Cobra 3D Printer Best Budget FDM 3D Printer. The Anycubic Cobra Go is the ideal budget 3D printer for both new makers learning the craft and seasoned pros looking for a trouble-free second, or third, machine. It doesn't have a fancy touch screen, but it does have two useful features, auto bed leveling and a PI-coded flex plate. Anycubic keeps the price low a remarkable $219 by making this version a DIY kit with a cheaper Bowden-style extruder. Its tiny knob-controlled screen may appear to be a step backward, but it's so simple to use that I didn't mind. The extra half hour or so spent constructing the printer is well worth the $100 savings over the regular Cobra or similarly equipped Creality Ender 3 V2 Neo, opens a new tab. I've seen a lot of cheap printers, and they're usually just machines that are past their prime and are being cleared out of the warehouse. This is not the case with the Cobra Go, a stripped-down version of the 5-month-old Cobra. You are not purchasing antiquated technology, but rather a modern printer with quiet fans, a 32-bit board, silent stepper drivers, and built-in belt tensioners. If our reviews help you make your choice, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This will support and encourage our team to provide more useful content. Again there are links to all the products we talked about in the video description until the next videos.